Welcome back. A fight over a meme turned deadly in October of 2018 when 19-year-old Jesus Maldonado was shot and killed. Today, ABC 13 Steve Campion learned the accused killer is likely to beat the charge, claiming self-defense. Steve is live with this story all afternoon. Hello, Steve. Hello, Adam. The documented gang member Fabian Rojas remains locked up here in the Harris County Jail. We learned today that prosecutors plan to ask a judge to dismiss that charge of murder against him. The victim's family says this isn't justice. Jesus Maldonado's family still grieves, still hurts. 22 months after gunfire ended his life in this Pasadena field. I feel like I miss everything about him. On October 23rd, 2019, investigators say a friend of Maldonado posted a meme on social media mocking a local gang known as the Red Bluff Bloods. The teenager showed up supporting his friend in a so-called street fight. He ended up shot and killed. The gunman identified by police as the 19-year-old Fabian Rojas. For these past two years, we had been waiting for a good news, something to actually bring us hope that there was going to be justice. Today, Maldonado's family says they've been robbed of justice. This week, they say prosecutors with the Harris County District Attorney's Office sat down with them and told them they plan to dismiss the murder charge against Rojas. Rojas's lawyer says they've long claimed the shooting was self-defense. The DA's office said in a statement, quote, after an in-depth, independent review of the evidence, prosecutors concluded the charge had to be dismissed because it couldn't be proven beyond a reasonable doubt, end quote. Now, it's not clear when prosecutors will actually file that motion to dismiss the murder charge, but it's unlikely that Rojas will actually leave the Harris County Jail because he is awaiting trial on an animal cruelty charge. He's accused of setting a rabbit on fire and laughing as the animal died. Reporting live outside the Harris County Jail, Steve Campion, 13, Eyewitness News. Wow, disturbing story, Steve. Thank you. ABC 13 was the only local news outlet at the probable cause court appearance for a woman accused of killing her own mother after an argument. This tops your News in 60. A judge set a $650,000 bond for Erica McDonald on murder and burglary charges. Police say she broke into her mother's apartment in the Willowbrook area, stabbed her to death, and badly hurt her aunt. R&B singer superstar R. Kelly is now on trial in Brooklyn. He stands accused of being the ringleader of a 20-year scheme in which he recruited women and underage girls for sex. Kelly has pleaded not guilty and strongly denies wrongdoing. The all-Republican state Supreme Court issued a ruling against Texas House Democrats. The court says the lawmakers can be arrested for refusing to show up to work at the state capitol. They've been trying to block a Republican voting restrictions bill by breaking quorum. The remnants of tropical storms Storm Fred are still causing problems along the East Coast. 14 possible tornadoes were reported across Georgia and the Carolinas. Fred is dumping heavy rain over the northeastern U.S. and threatening mudslides and flash flooding in upstate New York. Well, ABC 13 is joining with Hiring Our Heroes and the Disney Veterans Institute to hold a virtual career fair town hall tomorrow afternoon. The town hall starts at 3. Our panel of experts will answer all your questions about how to help veterans transition to a civilian career. You can watch on ABC13.com and the ABC 13 apps for your smartphone, Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, and Android TV devices. Just search ABC 13 Houston. You can go to our website right now to find links to resources for Houston area veterans and military families. I got some good news for you. The Battleship Texas Foundation says the ship will be reopening for Labor Day weekend. Visitors can go aboard the Battleship Texas September 4th and 5th. The foundation tells us more than 9,000 people visited the ship over Independence Day weekend. Now, I've also learned the Texas is now going to head off to the shipyard right after the new year, so be warned. This will be one of the final opportunities for people to come and get a look at the Battleship. All right, tonight on ABC 13, you will see the second episode of ABC's new Superstar series. Yeah, did you catch the first on Whitney Houston? Great stuff, and I'm super excited about this one tonight. Same. Really good series here. This chapter, it's going to focus on NBA legend Kobe Bryant and how he went from a young high school star to an NBA icon and a proud girl dad. I got to see Kobe mature into a family man, a loving husband, loving father. He would be an assassin on the court. 
And as soon as he saw them, the Mamba persona would just go away. The cape came off. He was no longer the superhero. He was daddy. And we would all know at that point, that's it. This is daddy time right now. And it was a beautiful thing to watch. I think as he got older, he stopped trying to win at all costs. During those years, you really saw Kobe blossom as a leader. He trusts his teammates. Superstar Kobe Bryant's going to give you an intimate portrait of one of the most important sports figures of our time. You're going to hear much of the story from Bryant himself. The one-hour primetime event explores everything from his life on and off the court to the indiscretions and complications in his personal life, including that accusation of rape at the height of his career. Former Houston Rocket star Tracy McGrady is in this episode as well. Definitely don't want to miss that. It begins at 9 tonight here on ABC 13. You can watch it tomorrow on Hulu. All right, call you all Houston Texans and you Dallas Cowboys fans, too. You <laughs> can watch, them out here. I guess there's a couple. You can watch the two Lone Star State squads face off Saturday night right here on ABC 13 and wherever you stream. Our live coverage of the Texans' second preseason contest begins Saturday with Eyewitness News at 6 p.m. Then the Texans and Cowboys will kick off at AT&T Stadium in Arlington at 7 p.m. And you know we've got all the highlights on Eyewitness News immediately after the game. And we are still tracking these showers and storms as they make their way across the area. We are still watching the severe thunderstorm warning. It does it still include the city of Trinity moving to the northeast. You can see the main threat, 60 mile per hour winds. Also could see up to penny size hail. Again, moving off to the northeast. And we also do have another storm that's on the northeastern side of Houston. Going to roll into parts of Humble as well as Crosby. Lots of lightning with this storm and some heavy rainfall. Also seeing the same thing over towards the Cypress area. And then a couple of storms down towards Liverpool as well as down down towards Brazos Bend State Park. Now, if you are over that rainfall, we do have some good news for you then because as we head into this weekend, we will see those rain chances start to drop. But when those rain chances drop, the heat will return. High temperatures this weekend coming in in the... You can eat the delicious sandwiches from Jimmy's John's. They got summer wraps. They're new. This one's chicken Caesar. Got croutons too, boss. Freaking Jimmy's John's! New summer wraps.